be you say this often in situations such as this a losing team you say well they they played a great game they can hang their heads high and sometimes that sounds a little trite something that we've heard before this is one of those situations where what else can you say they well, played Jeff, a tremendous well, I, hockey game i talked to some of the players they gave me the indication go win lose or draw the better team will win you saw some of those interviews i had with some of the berlin players and they knew that they were they were going up against a superior team but they didn't show it when they played on the ice they knew that they could skate um with the Panthers and they did so. We are about set for the presentation of the respective trophies. Al Brodeur congratulating his players on the job that they did on the ice. Every one of them, tremendous. Of course, Donnie Lebrecht, the standout. But there were others. Roland Poirier, who spent six weeks of this season out with a leg injury, coming in and scoring the first goal. Raleigh, who also had two goals in the overtime win over Memorial. And here, Coach Bill Batty can now say he has two state championships in a At row. At this time, I would like to present to you the chairman of the NHIA Ice Hockey Committee, who will make the presentations, Mr. Tony Urban. Tony, please. I'd just like to say a few words in very few words indeed, I know both teams are waiting for their awards. This was one of the most superbly played finals that I have ever witnessed in both teams. Great players. Great players, superbly coached by superb coaches and great sportsmen. Congratulations. And now, if the Berlin High School coaches and captains will come forward, I will present the runner-up awards. Celebrating uh, Nashua Purple Panthers, acknowledging their fans as the presentation begins, the runner-up trophy presented Coach Al Brodeur standing with his captain Steve Dean. The mood for the Berlin players. And now the 1986 NHIAA hockey champs. And the the captains and coaches of the Purple Panthers, please come forward. Brad Creek, Robbie Moulton, Jim Savage, accepting their prize with their coaches, head coach Bill Batty, head coach for five years, and Tom Horn, his assistant. You know, Nashua High School has been cleaning up this year. Uh, a week ago, the girls' team going undefeated in basketball, picking up a state championship, and the men's indoor track team also picking up the championship this year. So this is their third uh, uh, recently. Certainly the... The large student body works in their favor, but at the same time, you have to give credit where credit's due. Brad Creek holds that trophy high, and everyone comes in to get a feel of it. Everyone much. wants to Thank touch you. that trophy. And there goes the uh, traditional victory lap around Snively Arena. And a lap that is highly deserved. A lap that could very easily have been taken by the Mountaineers of Berlin. But this is one victory lap they are going to have to watch. We will be back at Snively Arena after this brief timeout.